Hey everybody, Coach Dan from The Run Experience. I'm really excited today. We don't do a ton of interviews on this channel, but today we decided to make an exception. We're speaking to Jean Fortier, the race director of Quebec Mega Trail. Jean, thank you for taking the time to chat with me today. Hey Dan, uh, nice nice to meet you and uh, thanks to uh, for having me. Oh, it's great. You know, I wanted to mention you were generous enough not just to make the time today, but to do this interview in English because your English is a lot better than my French. And so thanks for <laughs> that today. Yeah. So we're at this sort of crossroads in the trail running and ultra racing world. At least that's how it feels to a lot of us. For many years, the UTMB and UTMB World Series races felt like they were kind of the major goal for all of us that were running these races. And for many years, we could participate in independent races and get points or stones, depending on the era, for UTMB in Chamonix. That changed when the Ironman group bought UTMB. Uh, and, and we all sort of scratched our heads and wondered what was going to come next for that part of the trail racing and trail running world. And then last year in 2023, there was, I mean, I don't know how else to describe it other than a, a conflict between one of the biggest and best independent trail race directors in the world, Gary Robbins in British Columbia, and UTMB based around their race in Whistler. And then shortly after that conflict that was all over the internet, you and eight of your colleagues announced the World Trail Majors, this remarkable new race series that is based on diverse diversity, respect, sustainability and independence in trail running. And and many of us, myself included, who have run UTMB World Majors in the past and also run some of the best indie races in part to get UTMB points and stones in the past, all sat up and paid attention. Um, that's the backdrop for this conversation is that this this remarkable, interesting moment in trail racing. And so tell me how you feel. Tell me about the World Trail Majors, first of all, as a start. Well, uh, the World Trail Major is uh, it's it's an association of uh, iconic races all around the world that uh, uh, have led the way in uh, in trail running in their own country. So uh, some of us we've been working together since uh, since many years. Uh, as as for the Quebec Megatron, we've been working with, uh, for example, Swiss Canyon Trail and then Mute uh, Madera Ultra Trail. And then uh, with the, the, also with La Grand des Pyrénées in France, uh, and some others like uh, Grand Canaria and Kongsa were talking together, and we we came across all together, and uh, uh, and we finally we we thought it was a, a good time to to uh, put on a, an association with all of us, uh, and you know, um, and and and. Um, and and uh, show the world what we think is uh, really trail running is and and still is. You know, I mean, I think those of us from the outside looking in between Quebec Mega Trail and now Fuji and Cape Town and Black Canyons. I mean, these are some of the biggest, best, and most iconic trail races in the world. To come together like that and for it to seem like such an obvious fit, you all seem to have the same value set around respecting the communities that your races are held in, respecting the runners. There's even lots in there about respecting the environment, which lots of us, those of us who travel to race sometimes really struggle with where that fits within the ethos of trail running and ultra running. Um, it feels amazing to us, to to me, to have an alternative out there. Um, it's really a, a fun moment in this sport, this sort of hectic, crazy sport that is changing and growing so rapidly to see this association come up that has a value set that lots of us can resonate with uh, around respecting the communities, but also putting off these amazing races. I mean, these these are truly some of the best races in the world. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about your race in Quebec. Well, uh, uh, Quebec Mega Trail have been growing since the last five years really, really uh, fast and uh, we put on uh, some some uh, a 100 k uh, since uh, la like the five years ago, and then uh, we grow to uh, a 100 miler, and then uh, 80 k, 50 k. We actually have the the more the, the the biggest 50 k in uh, in trail running in Canada right now, and um, but 
you know uh, the the year uh, the terrain the terrain the 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 trails are really technical and uh and we also have a lot of elevi- elevation gain and um and some of the best trail runners around Canada have have come together here to race and and a lot of amateurs too because we have uh 10k's uh 25k's and there there's something for everybody we're very inclusive in 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 uh in this kind of things and it, it became a really big event where where uh, we we all come together and it's very friendly but it still is uh, uh you know on, on an international level now you know there's this tension sometimes in trail racing between the kind of backyard community feel of the races that lots of us ran at the beginning of the ultra our ultra running journeys where the aid stations were kind of very far apart and there wasn't that much on the tables and not a ton of volunteers. And then, you know, the Indies really changed in that regard. And so, you know, I've run some of Gary Robbins races in BC. Um, and when you get into an aid station during the Squamish 50, 50 or Whistler Alpine Meadows before that race was stolen by UTMB, when you got into those aid stations, there were a ton of volunteers that really knew what they were doing and they were excited to help you and tables full of food and gels and electrolytes and and those aid stations were closer together than than sometimes they had been in those older traditional style backyard races. Um, the World Trail Majors, where are they on that spectrum? Is it sort of a carry your own kit type of race feel, or is it going to be you know lots of volunteers, big aid stations, uh, lots of fans? Where does it fit in there? Yeah, obviously it's uh, it's it's. Uh, it's big races where you have big uh, aid stations and a lot of volunteers because uh, sometimes we have like uh, here in Quebec Megatri we have uh, three thousand and fifty uh, runners so we need to have a lot of up stuff you know and a lot of volunteers uh, like uh, Le Grand Red des Pyrénées have six thousand people over there so it's it's really big. And uh, so we have to put on something um, to to we, the the table has to be set for all those peoples, you know. So and where the Welter Major fits in in this is um, uh, the thing with trail running is uh, we we don't have uh, an international uh, federation that uh, rules uh, give us some rules that we have to to uh, deal with uh, like you, 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 where you are in in a box and you can not really go out in the box that's that's one of the thing uh, with trail running is is appealing for a, an organizer but because you, you can be you know a, a, a bit uh, you, you, you can you can fit your needs with the the local people and you can be uh, uh you can be creative on on uh, on uh, the way you put on your event, and that's where you know uh, all the the events in, in uh, Wiltron Major are uh, aiming for. We want to keep our own identity and our creati- creativity, and re- we really respect that. So, for, from since few years, we've seen UTMB. And uh, let's say the Golden Trail series, they they want to put a frame on on this uh, on on the roles and and how they do things, and uh, uh, we don't think this is this. Yeah, yeah, we we want it to actually keep uh, the essence of what trail running is. Yeah, tell me more about that essence. Um, when I hear it, I think about. Freedom. I think about respect for our communities. I think about just that that you know encapsulating that feeling of being out on the trail with your pals on a nice flowy downhill or a big technical uphill, and you you have that sense of what it means to be outside, appreciating nature and the world, and and you know that moment when you head into an aid station and you're just absolutely destroyed, and some magical volunteer resurrects your corpse and fills your bottles with you and gives you a little encouragement. And then you're off on the next climb, like a, like a different person. That's mm-hmm. what a big trail race feels like to me. And there's been times, you know, I remember running Belmonte endurance race, one of the oldest races in the United States and the Blue Ridge mountains. They, you know, it should have been a nice warm day. It was in the spring, but it turns out they had a big, a big blizzard that day. So there was snow and freezing rain 
And those volunteers were standing out there for hours and hours over a barrel fire. And, and when those of us in the in the lead pack came through, they were so excited to see some runners and to be helpful. And I remember thinking that day, like, gosh, it'd be a great day to quit because um, it's terribly cold out here, except those guys are still standing out there. Like, it's time to keep rolling, you know? Um, and I think, I think the World Trail Majors is trying to find a way to harness that energy of what it means to be a trail runner who loves trail running every day, whether there's a race or not. But then on race day, you get to celebrate that work and that training with your friends. And that's a thing that, you know, I think is the most beautiful part of our sport, sport when people come together to help each other, whether they're racers or volunteers or community. And so, you know, I'm excited that there's a new alternative out there for those of us who have been, you know, totally, honestly, sort of on the UTMB treadmill for years, trying to get the stones to get into Chamonix and uh, traveling to do it. And still, you know, some days it goes your way and some days the lottery doesn't go your way. Even if you've got a bunch of stones, it's really a difficult thing for folks. And so um, it's an exciting time in the sport. What's next? I know it's the first year. There's already been a few events that have happened and they were huge successes. I mean, you can see the, even the quality of some of the live streams has been really big productions. And, you know, for your race, you've got some of the best rate. I mean, Eeyore, who just won Barkley, is going to be running your 100 miler. Marianne Hogan, who's you know certainly one of the best female trail runners in Canada, is going to be back with you again. Yeah. Uh, you know, it is sort of an amazing moment. What can people expect, not just for the rest of the year in the World Trail Majors, but what do you see happening in the future? Are there going to be more races added to the roster? Or will there be, I think what some people are asking is, will there be one big sort of world championship style event? And I'm not sure it would be good if there were the way that the way that UTMB does it in Chamonix. We actually we don't want that because uh, you know those two series they they already have you know they're aiming for a one championship and uh, just just uh, focusing on one race is at the end of your calendar and that's that's not what we want at all. So you can participate at one race, two races, or do it all if you want to. But you know uh, there's. A, there's no limit there, and uh, we we just want to uh, be together and uh, share ideas together, and uh, and uh, it, we wanted to have uh, some kind of a uh, of a channel where uh, we we can be seen by everybody in the world, you know, on an ed, uh, on an international level. And so um, and um, that that's where we're standing. Where. In the next few years, we're probably going to grow a little bit, but not that much because, you know, we don't have, have we, we don't want to have too much races in the World Train Major. The things that we've been talking about is maybe doing some other little races in our part of a uh, country. So there, there's going to be, uh, uh, I, I don't know if it's going to happen, but uh, it's continental series actually. So we've been talking about that, but uh, we don't know if it's going to happen because it's a lot of work right now. And and trying to work together and uh, respect each other and the way we uh, we we do things is is it, it's uh, it's always challenging for us because we have to risk, you know, to we 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 have also we still have to find our cruising uh, uh, speed right now, but we're getting there. Well, I'm, you know, Quebec Mega Trail has been a dream race of mine for years and years and years. I love that you're a part of this new series. I love that again this year, you've got some of the best trail runners in the world at your starting line. And I know next year and the year after, you're the Canadian Trail Running Championships, yeah. which is an amazing thing. Again, you know, our, our mutual friend Gary on the West Coast has been doing that in Squamish for a couple of years. And that race series is always so much fun. So um, just know that I really appreciate you taking the time to chat. Hopefully someday we can get, I can get out there, uh, and enjoy your trails because I, I think, you know, your race is, is a bucket list race for anybody who's paying attention to what it means to make a major trail race in the world. So, uh, it's great. Well, if you want to come to, uh, to Quebec this year, we can maybe, uh, well, well, we can definitely have a spot for you if you want to. If you, you think you're, you're fit enough, uh, why not? The, at your rate, but you're all you're all sold out this year, aren't you? 
yeah, but we're going to find you a spot. No problem. <laughs> yeah, in eight, eight weeks. The race is in eight weeks. Yeah, but uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, you 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 have a you, you have a good uh, fit right now, and uh, you, you're 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 in shape, so probably you'll be able to do it. Why hey, not? Yeah, let's. I mean, let's talk about it. We've got I've got some work to do. Let's see how it goes. It's it's so generous of you to ask. Uh, I'm sure the run experience folks would love to see a video of your trail. So maybe we can, I can make my way out there. Uh, now you're a hundred miler. I can't get there. Maybe, maybe you're 110 K. Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. John, that's generous and thoughtful of you. Thank you for this. <laughs> no problem. Any- all right. Well, congratulations on all your success and we look forward to seeing how great the race goes this year. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. John, thank you. Bye.